Thank you, Dr. Moed. I am also basically a doctor, but joined business. So, and now activism for Kashmir. So, Assalamu alaikum to everybody. And, uh, alaikum as a Kashmiri, and as a Kashmiri, I would like to give my perspective on all the three points which have been, you know, which are under discussion. I would like to structure it in a, in a structured manner as you do in your, in your blogs. So, <clears throat> please bear with me. Now, number one is the turmoil in Pakistan and its effect on the region. You see, for us, India has taken the most advantage of the situation in Pakistan, particularly by the actions they are taking in Kashmir. And unfortunately, not, not talked about much by the world, as well as for that matter, in Pakistan, except for lip service. The occupation has been strengthened by manipulation and getting the Supreme Court of India confirmed the actions of 5th August 2019 of the Modi government as their Supreme Court is an extension of the executive, particularly when it comes to Kashmir, proved number of times in the execution of Magbur Martyr Magbur Bhatt and Martyr Afzal Gur. Further strengthening the occupation of the occupation by India putting their plans of creating settler colonies just like Israel has done with the latest announcement of land allotments to retired Indian army personnel in the form of Sainik colonies, which already had Sainik farms besides land for their different divisions as well as other lands. The denial of our sight of right of self-determination has given a situation where about 4.5 million people out of the 8 million people in Kashmir have been affected. It is because of the fact that the number of people killed, number of people uh, injured, number of people arrested, widows, orphans, and when we add up, and ten, and in our you know society, you know ten people are the minimum in an extended family. It comes to about 4.5 million, and on top of it, now we have PTSD, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder. It is in hundreds and thousands in every part of the society of Kashmir. Now, with these, all these things actually can invoke Article 2 of the genocide on Indian, in, which is happening in Indian occupied Kashmir. Now, the world has shown at this point of time in the case of Gaza, the South Africa has gone to the Internet Court of Justice and Mexico and Chile has gone to ICC. Now, I, why I'm telling all this is because it's, that is why, where the importance of the leadership of Pakistan will be there. You see, because on one side of the fulcrum, Pakistan has a running policy of no trade with India after August 2019, and rightly so. Although Kashmiri view at that time and still is, that it should have been more. As I pointed out to Khan Sahib when I met him, uh, in last year in Zaman Park, and that is the only time I have met him in life. Now, there's a talk of starting trade, etc. Unfortunately, Pakistanis do not learn from history. No amount of talk or expectation of reinventing the wheel by doing extra by trade can change Indian policy until and unless a strong leadership is in place who can see eye to eye and have the courage to expose the Hindu Tua agenda or Islamophobia regime presently in place in India. Now, we take the other part of the region. That the attack on a nuclear power in Pakistan by Iran was intended to send clear message to the United States and its allies and not least Israel is hard to dispute. A lot of people are telling this. We know who benefited from 9-11. At this time in the world, particularly in our region, it's a similar situation. After 9-11, six countries were demolished and destroyed. Now they are starting in Gaza. Iran fired missiles on Pakistan. And Pakistan fired back rightly to protect each other's sovereignty. Yet when the sovereignty of our holy mosque, Ul Quds is violated, nothing is done. I fear the region as well as the Muslim world is going to suffer if we do not have a leadership in Pakistan who carries weight, not only in the region, but the world particularly when the economy of Pakistan is dire staged. Speakers before me have told you about already what the Muslim world thinks about Imran Khan. 
Being a businessman, we, we have to understand that without a stable environment, no investors will come to Pak vision to uh, will come to Pakistan. And the vision of Pakistan as a citadel of Islam will be a pipe dream. Let us forget that then if if it is not happening, you know. Now, second important point is the impact of Imran Khan on Muslim world and region. Imran Khan, as the Prime Minister of Pakistan, has influenced the Muslim world and the region in several ways. His leadership has been characterized by efforts to foster diplomatic relations and promote peace. Khan Saab has been vocal on issues like Islamophobia, which culminated in the UN declaring a day of 15 March as a day of, day of Islamophobia worldwide. He has been an advocate of Kashmir conflict, advocating for the right of Kashmiris. Additionally, he has played a role in facilitating dialogues between Muslim-majority countries and as by media reports, even been able to break the ice between, between Iran and Saudi, Saudi Arabia at, at a certain given time. Now, in the region, because of this problem at this point of time in Pakistan, Israel has also taken advantage of the situation. And we know that in what has happened in Gaza, more than 32,000 Palestinians have been killed and 72,440 homes have been destroyed. The most unapologetic Muslim leader who spoke against the indirect American interference in Muslim nations, unlike many Arab leaders who have accepted the Amer American hegemony, has been Imran Khan. It's important that in the Muslim world there's a need to have a strong voice, to add to the other strong voices like pres President Erdogan of Turkey, where I live, whose people are behind him. It's important to recognize this as there is a pattern of global assault on Islam. Palestine, Rohingyas, East Turkmenistan, Chechnya, Bosnia are examples. The pattern has been described in detail if you study the doctrine of discovery, the Lausinia Declaration, confections of an economic hitman, General Westermoland exposed the Pentagon plans to destroy and destabilize the entire Middle East, Christian Zionism, clash of civilization in Hardington. The strength of the state, of a state, are rule of law and its ability to respond to UN Charter obligations. States should not be seen fragile and failing to uphold the human rights and constitutional guarantees. States should be seen administering rule of law and not prosecuting Imran Khan. Imran Khan is a constituency at home and abroad. Due regard should be given to it. I would like to recall that recently I met a Palestinian activist who told me in my discussion that in the Islamic world, voice of Mahathir Muhammad is heard, besides <laughs> President Erdogan, and lamented the absence of Khan Sahib, whose voice would have changed the response of the Islamic world in regard to Gaza. This is a Palestinian talking, not a Kashmiri. Huh? This is a Palestinian talking. Now, impact of Safar Gate on U.S.-Pakistan relations. There is a difference in the perception of the public, which I got living in Turkey, wherein I saw that Pakistanis, when they meet me here, or I met them on my visit to Pakistan, that America was considered not an enemy, but not a friend also. But after Cypher Get, it is now perceived to be an enemy by interfering in the internal affairs of Pakistan. The truth is that Khan Sahib has few friends in the West after prioritizing relations with Russia and China. From a Washington perspective, Anyone who would be better than Khan, says Michael Kugelman, you, whom you, uh, we have heard a number of times. Yes. The policy of, para the policy of paratrizing was correct, as we know, how India took advantage, at least with the Russia, with Russia economically. Dr. Mabinsha, like yes, Dr. Mabinsha uh, before yes. we move on, I just have a quick question. So with this background, what you're describing of Kashmir, of Khan Sahab's contribution against Islamophobia, the voice in the Muslim world, what would you tell the audience? What is the way forward? I mean, ultimately, every conflict has to be settled. What is the way forward? You know, if the West is against, if the internal establishment is controlled by them, what is the way forward for us? I would, I would. That will be my conclusion part of it. I have suggested something which is very, very important because my whole activism is based on that. Let me be very clear. You know, my base, whole activism is based on truth. And truth, what is happening in Kashmir. It is based on that. So that is why I will conclude my whole thing after. Give me just one or two minutes more, please. I would like to tell the Kashmir perspective over what is the US policy on Kashmir. 
because it's important because the issue of Kashmir has resonance in the Pakistan US policy also number of times we have seen it all along I as a person you know I have seen myself I was released from the Indian prison because of the American Senate hearings pressure of America which you know lately PTI was trying to do but they were not, it was not so safe, but I was I was released basically based on that because at that point of time and this is where the you see the American policy towards Kashmir is not known they are very uh, secretive about in a way uh, respect to human rights yes but we have seen lately our one of our most important human rights defender Khuram Parvez is, is in jail for the last two and a half years more than two and a half years but there is no moment India because the change in policy is it a change of policy because they need China for, against China India is needed against China so it is also important because this is this is going to reflect on the Pakistan American policy. You see, you know, Israel and when we, when we compare it with Israel and uh, let us say America, to me, Israel is America, America is Israel. True. Okay. But in the case of India and America, it is still not that. It is not that yet. It is not America is India, India is America. It is not yet. So that's why I, I gave you the example of my own and my Khuram Parvez, that was a difference, you know. So the problem is with America, is there is a double speak in regard to human rights and false narrative has been built, which has been exposed in the case of Palestine and although in Kashmir, they are not publicly yet the same. Yes. yes. So, and another narrative which the world has done, unfortunately, in our case, as well as in Palestine is, that they have labeled our freedom fighters as terrorists. While as when the Afghans were fighting the Soviet, Doctor, I would they were to freedom wind fighters. Up. Doctor, uh, yes, I would like, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, after all this, you know, who will talk to them on an equal footing? This is the important part. Who will talk to them for equal footing? And absolutely not basis. To safeguard the sovereignty of Pakistan. People of Pakistan need to decide it decisively and bravely our basis of Kashmir settlement is based on the basis of right of self-determination and certainly Pakistani need to decide for themselves how they need to be governed and not only be a developed nation with dignity and honor but the citadel of Islam for which was created thank you